Yeah, we're doing it. Can we finish now? Do you like it, Mama? Yes. When you turn three, you come in here. people welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is stella if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos and for my returning subscribers thank you guys for the love thank you guys for the support honestly i do appreciate thank you guys so so much on my channel i talk about my life here in the uk what's happening around me and i share information so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the struggle like the struggle here in the uk as a mom Honestly speaking, it's not easy. Well, my baby's right behind me. It's not easy. Like, after the birth of my child, to be honest, it has not been easy. The struggle is real. Like, at a, like, at a time, I felt like just going back home. Like, it's frustrating. I won't even lie. So, if you're coming to the UK, you need to be prepared. Like, you need to be prepared. For some reasons, my mom was not able to come. Anyway, so they will be going out too because me, I am tired of staying indoors. Like I'm tired. My baby is few weeks old, but I'm going out. I'm tired of the air in the room, in the sitting room, because from this room, I go to the next room and then I go to the sitting room. Like it's just too much. It's just too much for me. My midwife came in and she said, I need to go out because sometimes, you know, things like this make people depressed. Sometimes you just need fresh air. So and the weather is good so we'll be going to the park this is morning but it's just so bright it's good today so we're going to the park and also we'll be sorting out my daughter's nursery because we moved to a new house so the previous house we lived in i did a video on like uh when i was like looking for nursery for her but now we live somewhere different so now i want to register her in another place another nursery so we'll be going out today and also we'll be going to the park but before we go to the park i just decided to you know share this uh my experience with you guys why as many people regret coming to the uk and all of that like me now do i'm struggling eh because my mom is not here like sometimes you just break down you know you just sit down and be crying like it has happened to me like here in the uk when you give bed they just say bed wash so that means you just clean your baby's body you know bed wash the baby they i think they advise that after 10 days yeah i think so if i'm not mistaken if you if i'm wrong correct me on the comment section but i think it's after 10 days but me as a nigerian i can't sleep with my baby with the i can't sleep with my baby with the you know all the things in his body so i was not comfortable so after i came back from the hospital I had to shower, shower my baby, like, like the pain I was still feeling inside of me, you know. As a new mom, the pain was still there, but I had to give baby a wash because I came back midnight. I could not call my friend's mom because because it was midnight, I was able to call the mother because obviously I needed somebody to help me. But I had to struggle all by myself with my husband. We had to do everything together. So as a new mom, you know, normally if you're back home, people will be coming, helping you do this. For here in the UK, it's a bit different. I'm not saying people will not want to come. People want to come, but everybody have their daily activities and you'll not be calling this person, please, can you come to my house and help me and do this? It has to be you and your husband or you and your partner. Has to do everything all by yourself. Now you give birth 24 hours, you don't carry baby. If you're back home, Obviously, your mom or your mother-in-law or your sister or somebody, anyway, somebody, somebody, somebody somewhere will definitely help you. But here in the UK, nobody will help you. You have to carry your cross all by yourself. And all this is depressing, to be honest. Well, for me, it's depressing because every single day, you understand, like, Jesus Christ, I need a break. I'll couple with my daughter because I have a toddler. Honestly, the third day, I break down. Like, I started crying because at this point, I was tired. And my husband came in and saw me, why are you crying now? Like, I'm just tired. I am stressed. Like, I was just crying. And he said, do you want us to go back to Nigeria? Do you want to go back to Nigeria? I mean, uh, when you're sad, you say yes. Then the next minute, you say no. <laughs> that is the life here in the UK. One minute you want to go back. The next minute, you know, I'm not going back. So that's just how it is. And then, obviously, you have to, you know, struggle everything with your husband. Because my husband knows how to cook. He's a good cook. So he do the cooking. He help out. And my brother also help out. But honestly, even though they were helping out, it's not still easy. Couple with my toddler, my daughter, stressing me out, making me shout. Sometimes when I'm talking, I feel like it's normal. But because I'm shouting, keep it. Oh, no. And sometimes she's times she's dragging baby with me. Can you imagine dragging baby with me? She says my baby is my baby. I say I know it's your baby. Please stop. 
because she so much love her brother she so much love babies she love babies and i'm happy she love baby but she's the highest hazard and the highest risk we have in this house so literally if i'm having a shower my daughter have to be in the bathroom with me or i have to lock my son somewhere because if you leave the two of them my baby will start crying because she's trying to carry him and if she's trying to carry him she's pressing him so my midwife had to tell me i have to be very very careful because they've had experience with that before about a child and blah 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 anyway that's a long story one day i'm going to share that and with what's happening collecting people's children if they see mark though for let your child here in the uk is becoming too much so like i am very very careful at this stage of my life honestly speaking what can we do is just to adjust to the system and all of that so that's why i said ah i cannot kill myself oh, i am going out i need the fresh air what i would just do on my hair is just to crochet it so the lady will come and crochet my hair crochet is the easiest um hair i think if you have a newborn child or just weave your hair all back to be honest for me and then put wig because if i'm braiding my hair you know when will i sit down break all my hair couple with the attachments but if it's crochet they will just put it on you know it's just a lot easier after that they will be going out like i said i'm going to be vlogging we we'll go to my daughter's school and then go to the park and then i don't know but i'm just leaving this house to have fresh air to be honest living in the uk is not easy i remember when my midwife was telling me do you have a family do you have anybody around you know i said no i just have my brother my husband and my husband cousin she's not even living here she lives in sheffield and one live in london so obviously they don't even live around I said stella you need to go out like because she can see that i was I don't know but for some reason i think she's seen that hmm, i might go with the price she was like you just need to go out you need to go out get some fresh air go somewhere just go somewhere because people here honestly even after one week after bed they just go out they're not going out to just go and start shouting and dancing and all of that they just go out to receive some fresh air not like back home where you stay inside the house until after things you before baby go out some people used to do it back home but i don't know if it has changed but i feel like most people don't take their child out until after some weeks i'll be after some months or after three months i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong on the comment section anyway that's by the way she said still i need to go out you need some fresh air because the way i was looking at at that time she said no 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 no. i need to go out so that's why i would say it's like we're going out so i'm going to vlog in and the struggle here in the uk if you have children is so difficult like me now i just have a baby but sometimes i'm thinking if i go to work how are we going to start doing it i'm going to start you know what i don't want to think about all of that like they said don't think about all of that enjoy the moment there's nothing i'm enjoying at this moment because all i'm facing is struggle like baby like it's just it's just too much now and things like this will make you uh remember home you just like miss home be like hey god i wish i'm in nigeria and stuff like that so yes this is my life now so this is what it's like so yeah we're going to be vlogging thank you guys for the support honestly i appreciate guys so i'm going to the school i don't know if they'll allow me to video the school environment so hopefully if they allow me i'm going to uh obviously make a video but if they don't allow then i won't be doing that because these people in this country they just like to make everything protocol i hope they allow me to make a video to be honest and the weather is so so nice from here we we'll go to the park and chill at the park you know and from there in fact i don't know what i'll be doing today all i know is that i'm going to be vlogging anyway i'm going to i'm going to be showing you guys my location what's happening in my location yes that's what i'll be doing today so i don't know what i'll be doing today so just keep watching enjoy the vlog and enjoy yourself we're enjoying the summer already you can see it yes so yeah that's where we're going now No use in looking back Gotta laugh for gotta live Cause I'm so over the past And I'm living it fast So this is the school, this is the name of the school First class daycare This is first class daycare So we're going down, 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 down yeah, this is, your new, this is your new school, Mama. This is your new school. Are you happy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Napa. Oh, my God. Can you look at me now? The weather is something else. It's so sunny today. God. Honestly, I miss this sun. I miss the Nigerian shining sun. It's so hot. I won't even lie. It's so hot. 
<laughs> She's saying that. Okay. Can you come to the end? Am I put that? No, take it easy. Baby, look that way. And who's this? That's Stefan. Stefan. Oh, chicken bim. He's a baby boy. How old? He's about two weeks now. Yeah, two weeks now. Two weeks. Is that your brother? Yeah. And what's your name? <laughs> but what's your name though? Hi, good Her name is Isabella or Ifunaya. Isabella. Isabella? Is that right? Ah, beautiful. Hey, what we call? I love your shoes. They're a lot better than mine. <laughs> They're a lot better. So thank they? you, Mummy. You're welcome. No worries. Mm -hmm. well, have a lovely time. Thank you. See you later. Oh, Gabriel. Um, uh, 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 we have like the water trays, yeah. we're just having snack at the moment, we have valuable plate, um, and then they've got a whole home around the corner. Okay. And smile. And then we've got the construction area. We have small toilets and sinks included. Yeah, so now she's using nappy, so she's going to start learning potty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so we, you, we, we ask you to do it at home, yeah, and then we will do it here at the nursery. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it. Have you finished your lounge? Are you okay? Yeah. Do you think she's gonna, you're going to leave her? Yeah, that's a lounge. Are you seeing it? Ooh, nice toy. Nice, nice toy. Yeah. Ooh, do you like it, Mama? This is going to be a new school. Let's see, look at the chair. Ooh. Ooh. We're turning into an airport in the moment. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go Nice. Isabella. Hi, Isabella. Hi. Oh. Hi, Isabella. Oh, you're a bit shy, aren't you? You're just moving up from babies. No, really. <laughs> She's coming. She'll be three in November. Oh, that's right. okay. Yeah. She's, a bit, she's not used to crap. Yeah, because she's always indoor, indoor all. I don't know if she's shy or scared. I don't know how to do it. She just panic a lot. She'll get used to it. There will be tears, I'm not saying that there won't be no tears. Yeah. But she will get used to it. Yeah. That's why we say the more she comes, the better. Yeah. Because they get used to us quicker. Yeah. And it's familiar, right? I'm a tear every single day. Okay. But like I say, I'm going to be more quick. Okay, so when she turns three, this place is going to stay. This is a preschool room, so this is when she's three years old. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's go. Yeah. And then we have our baby as well, which is not to two years old. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to leave. 
Ja, det tror jag. Thank you. Would you like a registration? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just go and get everything for you. Get some friends from us next week. Come this way. Yeah, it's flower. Yeah, it's flower. <laughs> so we're going to the park now. We are at the park now, and well, the weather is nice. You can see, honestly, like I seriously needed at this. You know, like after you've been there, it's always inside the house. Ah, sometimes you just need some fresh air, like to cool off our head, cool off our brain. Honestly speaking, because hmm, hmm, it's not easy. It's not easy to stay in your for like three weeks. God. So if I'm in Nigeria, I'm not sure I'll be going out by now because my son is just three weeks old. But. <laughs> I mean, we're in the UK now. We cannot kill ourselves. If not, I'll just go to press because I was tired of staying at home every day in the room. In the room, in the room, in the room. Ah, ah, I am tired. Your baby girl is tired. I needed to like, just go out and chill. And like, this kind of fresh air I need, you know, to cool off my hair, relax, and feel good. All come out there. If you just get bed, please take out time to go out, cool your head, receive some fresh air. Like, you don't have to be in your house. You can just go to a restaurant, you can just go to the park and cool off your head because sometimes oh, you just get tired of everything, you get bored, you get, you know, feel sad, like, just feel sad. Yeah, sometimes I just feel sad because I get so tired and it's not a good feeling. So yes, I'm here, beautiful view, seeing some fresh air. Wow, nice flower, mama. And my husband just went out to just get a few things like ice cream chip chicken you know just to eat and relax so yes yeah. We have pizza, we have ice cream, we have yeah, we've got everything anyway. Because we need this. Like me particularly, I need this kind of fresh air. Like after how many weeks of saying in job, I need this fresh air, like I said to you. So my daughter is a fan of pizza, she so much loves pizza, eh? The way she loves pizza, eh? Even me, I don't understand. She's a fan of pizza. Where? <laughs> 
Don't tell me this is what you're telling yourself every day. It's like two guys and you are. Come on. Let it go. so guys we've come to the end of today's vlog if you watch this video to this very end thank you for the love thank you for the support honestly i really do appreciate it. i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys yeah.